A new approach to desalination is the key to solving this zero-line crisis. Now, the old-fashioned desalination technology is five times more expensive at converting salt water to fresh water than just extracting it from groundwater, lakes, and rivers, because it relies on thick filters to separate the salt from the water. Mike, this stack of paper, three reams worth, measuring about six inches high. This is the current thickness of a desalination filter. But take just one sheet. This is the thickness of the desalination filter this defense contractor has come up with. But Mike, besides being ultra thin, this desalination filter is also 1,000 times stronger than existing technologies. It can convert salt water to fresh water 100 times faster, and it uses 1 100th, that's 1% of the energy it previously took. Desalination now becomes economically viable in even the poorest countries. It becomes economically viable to the 780 million people who can't access clean drinking water now. Kent, talk about this filter's secret. It's built with a miracle material called graphene. At one atom thick, graphene is the thinnest material on the planet. It's more flexible than rubber, yet it's stronger than diamonds, 300 times stronger than steel. Mike, graphene is so strong, it can literally remove radioactive elements from water that's become contaminated from a nuclear spill. You could drink that water right after it runs through this filter. And it's not a rare material? No, it's an advanced material extracted from graphite with massive potential for numerous applications. This defense contractor was one of the early innovators with graphene. I was sent their internal memo that reveals this desalination breakthrough. They combine the leaders of their mission systems and training, advanced technology laboratories, and space systems departments. And they developed and patented a desalination breakthrough that internally they're calling a game changer. And this technology could stop the zero-line crisis from escalating into a worst-case scenario? Let me put it this way, Mike. Coincidentally, around the same time this technology was first presented, India committed to building 500 desalination plants by 2017. Talking dollars and cents, India is now allocating $92.1 billion a year. That's a year towards solving this water crisis. And coincidentally again, I know for a fact, the Indian government is going to cut big checks. We're talking checks totaling many billions of dollars. They are being quietly directed to the company that controls this incredible filter. The contracts are signed. Here's another coincidence. This company has already set up shop in India. They now have an office in New Delhi. I'm not much for coincidences, Mike. Kent, here at Money Morning, we've been helping people capitalize on military and defense technologies for years. So let's put this opportunity into perspective. What's the profit potential for this company, thanks to its graphene-based desalination filter? 